G'day, welcome to another episode of Compost TV. We're in the compost lab today, we're talking about food waste and food waste collection and how to maintain bin hygiene. When you're dealing with difficult materials, post-consumer, cooked materials and so on, it can take some time and effort to keep your bins clean. Inside kitchens, for example, where the cleanliness and hygiene of the bins is important. In those situations, you've got your choice. You can clean them out or you can make use of the compostable bin liners. Now these compostable liners only work if they keep the bins clean. So what I'm going to show you is a little tip that we've been using for over 10 years now. We use a piece of UV stabilised shock cord and we tie it in to the hinge at the back and it keeps the bin liner in place. The trouble with these bin liners is that when you put them in a bin, often the first time you put some waste into them, some food waste into them, the bin liner drops right down inside the bin and then you've lost all the benefit. You've spent the money on the bin liner and you've still got to spend the time, effort and money on the cleaning. If you have a look, we've got a piece of bungee cord. It's UV stabilised 8mm shock cord. And what we've done is we've drilled holes through at the base of the hinge here. So let's have a look and see how it works. You take the shock cord, lift it up and around, let it loose. You take your biodegradable bin liner, whack it in there, spread it out and around. Then you take your cord and you flick it back out and around to hold the bin liner in place. Any little adjustment. And here's our same waste. Bin liner stays in place. When it's time to take the bin liner out, exactly the reverse, flip the shock cord out of the way, pull out the liner, take that away, replace it with a fresh one. So we can use the compostable bin liners in situations where bin hygiene is important and where it costs us time and money to keep the bins clean. So if you're running a bin exchange where you take away the full dirty bins, return back clean bins, then you have the choice about which bins and when to use the liners where it's cost effective for you to use the liners rather than extra water and extra time and effort to keep them clean. When you're running on-site systems in particular, the extra water that you're using to keep the bins clean can be a headache for you. Food waste is wet as it is. To reduce the amount of water that you have to deal with, you can reduce the amount of water you use for cleaning reduce the time and effort required to clean your bins, but you want to install the liners in a way where they actually do the job and you're getting value for money. That's it for this episode. If you head along to the Compost TV YouTube channel, you'll find all the other videos, or you can head to the RAU website, www.recycledorganics.com. You'll find loads of information for download and also access to services for all your composting adventures. Thanks for watching.